soon. Let's get started with this first, or rather, uh, third game already. Um, since we are right in the middle of everything, we have, in the first round here, Liquid Rat versus Hero Marine, and the current score is 1-1. One to one. And, let me check what's happening here, because we just jumped into this match, match and um, I have no idea what they played earlier, so... Um, we just, we just have to, um, yeah, we just have to wing it. So, Liquid Red, uh, opening hatch first, will now get his gas. Send a few workers in there, not quite three just yet. Seems like an interesting opening. I'll have to see what Hero Marine goes for. Also, only two workers. Um, did open with the racks and added that command center. Let's see, adding in a little bit of gas. He might open up with a Reaper here, try to apply some pressure. Nope, not quite yet. We'll start off with a marine, so yeah, that bunker needs to come in, and uh, let's see if he's gonna add a couple of wrecks to stay safe here. I would assume so. Um, just definitely the better route. And that overlord is coming in for Liquid Red. We'll get to scout out that command center. He's already seen it. He's in a good spot. Should be safe over here, and he can later on fly in, scout out what hero marine is planning. So that bunker is finishing up. First Marine is waiting to get in. Get a nice cushioned cushioned out seat. And ooh, Rat. What are you planning, my friend? What are you planning? One for overload speed already. And getting a few queens, not too many yet. The third one is uh oh actually yeah, the third one uh, is being established. Building it as we speak, and there's the third command center for Hero Marine. So, playing this very macro-focused game for now. He should add in, add in a couple of buildings here. Okay, yeah, there comes that factory. Reactor also placed down already. So, really, really macro-focused. Especially when those two workers in gas early on. But now, with the factory coming in and that reactor already building, he can go for the swap, get a couple of, um, get a couple of Hellions out, and, well, he sees that fast overlord now, so maybe this is just uh, Red's way of scouting, so he can scout out the entire base and not be surprised by anything that Hero Marine is throwing at him. I still think it's it's kind of curious. Kind of curious. Okay, there's that uh, metabolic boost coming out. Finally getting Zirkling speed, and the third is being established quite late in this game. Six minutes at the six minute mark. And this is later than Hero Marine's third, to be honest. He's just now going for a second gas, and getting those first couple of Hellions out. And that Overlord's still alive, this is insane. Yep, taking that out. And Hero Marine gotta be quite fond of himself for taking out a Speed Overlord at this time. Alright, so we'll have to see what Liquid Red is going for here. Um, I thought initially thought Spire Attack, but his gases were kind of late. He's still not going for the fourth, uh, or third and fourth gas. But just now, adding in double Evo Chamber, um, still droning up quite heavily, to be honest. But he's not really having that huge macro advantage. Ooh, Hellion's coming in, getting the first Creep Tumor. Queen should be able to fend them off. Yes, she is. Should watch out, though. Um, once she's off Creeped, she's prone to be taken out here. And two more Hellions are coming in. Another two are being built here. So, it looks like Red might need to watch out. Oh, I'm sorry uh, for the jumping screen. I'm still used to uh, Heroes of the Storm camera control. A little bit different. Oh, he can deny that creep tumor once again. Really nice move here by Hero Marine. And, oh jeez, what again. Um, yeah, and once again, going for Blue Flame. Um, adding in even more Hellions. I'm thinking, what is he planning behind this? And he's already shown us a little bit here. Uh, going for double eBay. Getting both, uh, both the... Um, Weapons and armor upgrades going for stim behind this. So this is gonna be a nice timing push uh, With a good good bio ball, but he should add, a, add in the start port. Otherwise um, He might run into trouble um, just to save up save up his units heal him back up and um, Just all out stand a chance against red Red is also now just now gearing up uh, and going into tech going for his hatch uh, for his layer tech now adding two additional geysers and just pumping out units, pumping out those zirklings and getting them out all over the map, trying to stop these Hellions from coming into his third. But I think he has a decent amount of links uh, to deal with this. So he should be just fine defending his third. Um, he should think about actually putting out a fourth base at this point. Because uh, that push is coming in and looks like Hugh Marine, he's not sitting still here. 
Or for the armory straight away so he can get started with his 2 2 upgrades once once one is once one is good. One one is done. Oh jeez. Oh those bailings. Trying to get a connection here with the Hellions, but he's just making a turnaround happen. Going back the other way. Nope. The creep's just too far out, not wasting any um not wasting any scans for now. Ooh, those bailings might get a hit here. Oh, perfect hits. Here we mean uh not not on top of things tonight. But he's just continuing his, uh, his Hellion production. And, yeah. Luckily for Red, he's coming in, sees the entire, entire production facility here. All of these seven barracks, um, the add-ons being built. So he knows, okay, there's a big bio switch coming in. I gotta prepare for this. And, to be honest, I think he's already in a pretty decent spot here. Um, he has the plus one upgrades on the way. He's going for plus two, plus two. Um, and just adding in additional hatcheries all over the place. So I think he's good. Um, that second, um, that second hatch that just finished is really, really important. He definitely needs that macro hatch in order to just churn out the units uh, to deal with this bio aggression that's uh, sure to come out out of Hero Marine here pretty soon. Oh, he's coming in with a couple more Hellions. They have the uh, plus two upgrade, uh, plus one upgrade soon. Plus two, uh, plus two is coming in for the infantry. But he's just now getting started with his production. Um, should be the first round of marines coming out here. Yeah, he has he has a couple, but not too many. And Red is going for Mutilus now. I don't know. He might have a tiny bit of a timing here. I think it's it's just way too tiny. I don't I don't think it works. He might be able to catch these Hellions off guard though. If they're um, if they're split apart from his main forces, I think he can definitely do something here. But once he actually rallies up with his marines, uh, Red has no chance to deal with these Hellions. At least not with Mutalisk. If he gets a good surround uh, with the Lynx and lets the Banelings roll in, that might work, but that's that's a lot of ifs. And there's a little run by coming in. A couple Lynx making their way towards that natural, but nope. Everything's closed off. And here Marine should be just fine over here. And I think he spotted this. Oh yes he did. All the links are being cancelled, and yeah, he gets a nice decent pickup. And both of them on equal supply. Hero Marine, a uh, good worker count, could get a couple more out, but he's clearing out this creep now. Even has a Thor mix in there already, so he spotted that Mutalisk, um, Mutalisk switch coming in. And is in a really good spot to deal with it. Needs to watch out with those Hellbats though. Hellbats really, really prone to be taken out by Banelings. But since he has such nice pre-splits available already, I think it's kind of hard for uh, for Red to come in here. He's trying, he's trying, those Banelings are rolling in, they're getting a decent shock with these Marines. Most of the Hellbats are gone, uh, now he just needs to get rid of the Muta and then he can just clear off the Hellbats with the Mutas. Oh yeah, a couple Mutas are coming in. Uh, looks like he has enough firepower to take them out, but nope, not with the Marines starting out. Good marine production here. Marine did get rid of this base. Uh, I think, yeah, Liquid Red saved a few workers, but I don't think uh, that was enough. 13 workers killed. He's still a little ahead in the macro game, but not by too much. And here, Marine, he's already preparing his next command center. Going for the 3 3 upgrade, and I don't think that Red has 3 3 on the way at all. Nope, not at all. He's still sticking to 2 2. Doesn't have that hive available just yet. Just going for going for layer tech, going for two two upgrades and just churning out links. And in the end, this is not gonna be able to make it versus three three marines and hellions, hellbats. Everything makes it in there. Thor production has stopped for now. He might need to continue that, but he's just working well with his splits. No real need to, to be honest, because um, those marines can just uh, get rid of the mutas in no time. Going for plus two upgrades for his um, for his Hellions now. And those Thors will also um, get a decent upgrade from that. 3-3, three, three, halfway done, so I think this is just a fake out. Oh, these Hellions will get picked off here. Nice free pickup. But there, there are the reinforcements coming out for Hero Marine. He's trying to come in from the left side, trying to deny his fifth base. Oh, good surround here. Not losing too many Banelings, that's really important for Red. And he's turning in, coming in, getting rid of the Thor. And, yeah, good, nice pickup for Red. Still behind, though. Still behind. 
And those marines will probably finish off this hatch. Yes, they will. Did lose a couple more workers. There's the GG. And that's a 2 1 for Hero Marine. Liquid Red not quite prepared um, for this aggression. I mean, he was still way too long on on just 2-2 two, two and hive uh, and layer tech. Uh, he should have made the switch to hive tech sooner or at least gotten gotten some investors out something to just root down those marines um, or just deal with the hellions to be honest. I mean, hellions and hellbats did, did a pretty good job and even though liquid red had a pretty good creep spread on the right side, it wasn't enough to help him defend those bases. Okay. <laughs> Damn it, I'm having the lobby bug again. <sighs> oh, finally getting in there. Sweet. Okay. Looks like it's working. Um... Sec, did they accept the stream link? Nope, they didn't. They did not. Um, and we're loading into the next map. It's going to be Catalina. So, a little bit of a, a smaller map compared to the last one, but it's it's still decently sized, so Liquid Red will have to think about something here. He will need an answer to Hero Marine's uh, aggression. And possibly, possibly bring out another style. Let's see if he can do it. Here he is, spawned at the 9 o'clock position on Catalina. He is Liquid Red. And his opponent playing four mouse bouts as the Red Terran spawned. In the 5 o'clock position, he is Hero Marine. So yeah, really macro-focused openings from both players. Maybe uh, Hero Marine can throw out a little bit of aggression now, just to throw Red off guard. I mean, he wouldn't have been prepared for anything like that in, in the early game. Um, he played this very conservatively, um, just adding in gas really late, going for really late speed links. Um, he did have he did have an early scout available, so that first overlord was in a really good position. I think he did a pretty decent job scouting overall, but uh, the problem was just that his main game plan was not prepared for for Hero Marine's uh, bio forces. I think he caught the switch at the perfect moment. Um, the mutas might not have been. The best idea here. Um, maybe he should have added in a couple of roaches just to deal and give it good front line to those roaches, but uh, to those uh, hellbats. But I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure to be honest. Um, just better scouting could have prevented this. Um, he shouldn't have lost, lost that base. I think this is where everything just fell apart for Liquid Red. And refinery coming out again for Hero Marine. Hatch first for red, and yep, yeah, he's going for pool before gas. So probably not going to be early speedlings, just like that last game. And this time, Hero Marine is changing things up a little bit, going for a Reaper, and maybe he will try to apply some pressure to Liquid Red. See how he can deal with that. First Overlord is on the way. We'll probably scout out that Reaper just uh, as he gets out. And that will give him a little bit of headway to get himself prepared mentally, uh, get those drones rallied up so he can uh, swiftly do the mineral walk and save him. Okay, first drone is in there, second drone, third drone. And this would give him a little bit of a later gas, but still good enough if Hero Marine decides to do uh, like crazy aggression. And looks like he's gonna be lucky. Hero Marine scouting out the north spawning position first. There's a second Reaper coming out, and it's also relative to the first one. So he must be quite confident that uh, this is where Liquid Red will spawn, in fact. But nope, not gonna happen. He spawned at the 9 o'clock position. So that second Reaper will go over to the left side. 
red uh, will be just fine seeing okay there is an expansion coming out um, probably not too much aggression coming in and for everything else I have two queens and that speed is also started four links plus the queen should be fine to deal with this reaper oh, some good micro coming out of red keeping all of these links alive for now reaper will try to rotate down to that bottom base to the natural to the natural no nope, he has a second reaper coming in queen is in position to defend this though and this is a really nice position for the queen because he could only jump up here up here and just go up the ramp so everything is saved by this one single queen you might get a little bit of netch once uh, the queen goes up there to spawn some larvae but i think it's probably not going to be enough of, uh, of an issue here and again red oh he's gonna lose a drone here not too careful could have saved that one up by morphing it into a spore and yeah, just dealing with those Reapers quite handily. They will get out though, and with that, Hero Marine can continue to apply pressure. Behind this, he is going for another expansion, uh, getting that macro, <laughs> macro command center, just to shut out more SCVs, get additional mules out, and boost his economy without risking anything. Because if you place that command center down at the third right now, it's uh, very prone to be overrun by Red if he scouts it out. And he has two scouts available, he has the overlord next to the main base, he has another overlord just sitting over the natural, and um, yeah, this one is re in a really good spot. He can see out when the gases are taken, uh, the second one just went in, uh, okay, so there's another command center coming in. I don't have to be afraid of, of crazy amounts of pressure, just need a couple of links, my two queens to save me up. And he's going for a much earlier layer here, this time also going for earlier gas. So, um, there is still an option for him to, to go Roaches here, but it would be kind of a weird build. I highly doubt it. I think I think he's going for Mutas once again. I don't know if that's the best choice. We'll have to see uh, what Hero Marine is planning here. Oh, there's a Denial. First Creep Tumor. Second one goes down as well. And the third one will likely to get finished. Yep, this one, this one gets done. Done and going. Baneling Nest, of course, uh, placed down defensively here just as he placed out that layer, and that's that's a really good, a really good thing to do. Here comes the scan. Hero Marine scouts this out, sees everything but the spire. Spire is going down in the main base, isn't it? Wait, where is it? Over here. Ah, uh, he might have seen it. We have to check again. Nope, I don't think he saw it. It's just off the edge of the creep. Really nice placement here for Liquid Red. A little bit unfortunate. That Reaper has been cleared off. I don't think he got too many kills. Nope, just the one kill we had early on. Third has been taken for Red, and with just four Hellions, I don't think that Hero Marine can contest this at all. Red should work on his Creep Spread a little bit more, get that uh, closer to his third base. Once he has that, um, I think he's in a good spot for now. I have to see what Hero Marine is doing now. He's already reacting, um, or just going defensive, uh, getting a couple missile turrets up, getting one up in uh, in his production, getting one up in his main, and one in the natural. And I think this is a perfectly fine response. A lot of people are saying, okay, static defense, uh, not worth it at all, but I think it does. I think it's really worth it. Um, gives you uh, a little bit of leg space just to think, react, get your units over there, and it's not too much of an investment. And these are, these are actually helping out later on too, because unless Red commits to huge amounts of Mudas, uh, those towers will do some decent damage, especially if they're being repaired by a couple of SCVs. And with that earlier Spire attack, Liquid Red sacrificed a little bit of, of his upgrade timing. The plus one, plus one, only halfway finished this time, but he is going for the plus one flyer attack as well behind this. And looks like Hero Marine finally decided, okay, this, now is the time. I can move my command center down to the third. I have a couple of units available. I have that plus one, plus one almost finished up. And those medivacs are coming out as well. So he has a decently sized bio army. And going out for that slide now. Red should get a couple more workers out, especially now that the third has been placed down. Those gases are active, but not quite ready to mine from yet. Um, needs a couple more workers uh, to get those ready. And then he can really sure not the mute account. Centrifugal Hooks is on the way, so um, he should be in a good defensive position. And here goes Hero Marine finally seeing those mutas. Uh, I think um, he eventually thought, okay, 
uh, he's definitely gonna go mute us once again. Saw the early gas, so uh, that's really indicative of that. And here, Marine, just going for aggression. Going for aggression. Centrifugal hooks not quite out yet. Um, and Liquid Red has some decent creep spread here, but it's not quite over here, so he will have to lure Hero Marine inwards. Lure him towards his bases and then go for the Baneling Bust or go for uh, some Baneling Aggression here. He needs more Banelings first though. Five more are morphing in, but that's definitely not enough. He doesn't have enough gas right now. Kind of surprising considering that he went into these uh, this fifth and sixth gas a little bit too late, but looks like it's, it's quite alright. And Hero Marine deciding to turn around for now. Plus one, plus one is done, but um, so is plus one, plus one for Liquid Red. He's going for more and more Banelings now and getting the fourth base established. And he should work on his creep spread a little more. Um, he's missing bits and pieces, especially in the middle. Okay, there goes that queen, finally putting down a decent number of creep tumors. Hero Marine will try to move him from the right side. There are not enough Banelings out for now, I think. I think this might not be enough, but if he can get a good surround, just try to close off the Marines, but nope, that's that's not the surround he was looking for here. Banelings need to come in from the back side, and there comes that, that Constriction. Getting a few more Marines, but he will have to back off now. It was a really nice placement here, really nice move for Hero Marine, saving those up. So, really well done here. And a little drop attempt, but Liquid Red did scout it out. And we finally see some Widow Mines being thrown into the mix. He only has a single factory, but that reactor definitely helps out. And he doesn't need too many uh, Widow Mines. He probably uh, wants a few next to his production facilities, just so that uh, reactors can be sniped off really quickly. And then maybe add in a few to his, to his main force to help against the Mutas, help against the Banelings, and he is going for Drilling Claw, so it's gonna get um, those Widow Mines in the ground a little bit faster. Definitely a good idea here. Plus 2 plus 2 is almost finished. Um, same thing goes for Liquid Red. He's trying to come in, but this is a really bad spot for him. Can't really get on top of Mar uh, Hero Marine. We're seeing a little bit too many Banelings here. And there's the preemptive splits out of Hero Marine. Well, ooh, what a big blob going down. And that one might be in trouble as well. But some really good splits coming out. And those Marines from the bottom here really cleaning up. Really cleaning up house. A couple of uh, Banelings are still available. And there goes that elevated lift to the top. And we're going to rid most of these Banelings. Really cost efficient trade here for Hero Marine. I mean, he did lose quite a bit, but I think in the end, uh, looks like it was worth it. Yeah, definitely cost efficient. But that fourth is still up, and Hero Marine doesn't have a fourth in development just yet. Building Claws is almost done, though I think since he has four Widow Mines in the mix now, and has a decent number of Metabex to complement his force, that should be enough. And he can continue to push, at least lay siege to this creep, and help him prepare to go for that fourth base. 3-3 is on the way. Again, no 3-3 on the way for Liquid Red just yet. He's still staying on layer attack. It's like he might be making the same mistake as last game. And from the map layout, this doesn't look too good, but ooh, those Widow Mine hits could have been disastrous for Hero Marine, but Liquid Red decided to turn around. He's definitely missing Infestus in this mix. And I mean, you can play this style, you, you could go for this, oh, nice little uh, Zergling run by here, doing a little bit of damage, the main force is still standing strong, did the Widow Mine get any decent kills? Nope, not yet, any other Widow Mines on here? Nope, doesn't look like it, looks like he has lost them in the last engagement, yeah, 70 workers have been killed in that run by, Liquid Red is still ahead, but he should get a 5th base established without... Ooh, nice hits there, but mostly on, on these... Uh, mostly some on the Marauders. He still has so many Banelings left, though. This might be enough. The entire army of Hero Marines getting cleared off, and he will get rid of most of these Medivacs. Really well played here, Liquid Red. Can he turn this game around? Can he go for the Juggler now? Take out the 3rd base? Oh, that's another medevac going down. He still has a decent number of banelings. Look, lo looks like he might go for a few more, and now he's in the production line. There's still a widow mine in here. It's 
so he needs to watch out to keep that Overseer alive. And more Banelings should be coming out, I think uh, he should rely on these few Banelings. He definitely needs a lot more to make this happen. And Mutas are trying to find their way in. There's only a single, only that single Mistletoe that Hero Marine built initially, so these SCVs might be in trouble. But not if Hero Marine scouts us out and gets, uh, gets his Marines over here. Not happening for now. But Red is staying clear of this. Still kind of scared of those Widow Mines. And unfortunately Red didn't go for a run by at the third. That definitely would have been an option here, but nope, not happening. Maybe maybe he's trying to do it now. And more links coming out. Oh good widow mine hit. Getting a few bane links over here. But he's coming in. Third, little bit exposed, but a nice sim city on the right side. That bunker definitely helping out to um, fend off those bane links. Mutas on the left side didn't really do all that much in the meantime, and Red finally, finally going for that fifth base, and finally also going for hive tech. A little bit a little bit late to be honest, but Luckily for him, uh, he did get rid of quite a few SCVs and Hero Marines natural, and the mine, uh, the um, minerals in the main base almost mined out. So I think this is not too shabby for now for Liquid Red. And with that, he's gonna try it one more time. Ive is almost halfway finished. He's still on 2-2, obviously. Tends to tell getting rid of. Uh, Getting rid of the vision. Oh jeez, this is crazy and those Widow Mine hits are just through the roof. 3 hits on this one, 12 on that one. Another hit on this one, so 14, 15 hits overall. Not shabby. Liquid Red definitely needs to watch out. These Mutas shouldn't go fighting right now. Need to recuperate the losses, heal back up. And once he has that on the way, um, he can get them back into the fight. But he's just gonna rely on Lynx and Banelings for now. The Marine coming in with small forces. Those Widow Mines need to... Yep, they need to uh, drill down here. But that's that's quite enough for a Hero Marine. It's gonna be uh, real content to just let them sit there and try to preemptively split before he goes into that fifth base. And it is definitely in trouble. The Mutas are coming in, but mind you, quite of them are, are really low here, already in the yellow. And the Banelings are coming in, they're being split up. Most of the, oh, most of the Widow Mines have evaporated away in that previous engagement, but there might be a few out there. Yes, there's one. And it hasn't been triggered yet. Oh, wow! What a Widow Mine blast there on the left side. This might have saved Hero Marine, but there are still quite a few Mutas out there and quite a few Banelings to get rid of this remaining force. Widow Mine doesn't go off, but this one does. And gets a few Muta hits. Oh, seven hits here. Not bad. Still really cost efficient for Hero Marine, but if he loses all these medevacs, I don't think there's com any coming back from this. Plus three, plus three is on the way. Um, no, actually, just the plus. Th oh yeah, plus three, plus three. Uh, and there's the plus two armor for Mutas. Plus three armor for Mutas. Yep, that's the GG. Liquid Ren closes it out. Goes to the two two. Not bad at all. Um, I was really surprised that he was able to um, to pull it off, because Hero Marine was actually in a, in a pretty good spot early on, but I think the moment where he lost almost his entire army in that one engagement, that might have been the turning point. Um, even though Red didn't have a real nice macro advantage, um, and only started to really go into that fifth base later on, I think it was still enough to, uh, to finish off uh, Hero Marine here. Okay, already getting the invite for the last map. Um, give me a sec here. Okay, do I have... Oh, let me fix this up. Title should be a little bit different. Red versus Hero Marine. Okay, looks like they're ready to go. And so are we. Okay, yeah, finally associated that stream. Okay, looks like it's working for now. And our last map is Inferno Pools. So hopefully after this last map, um, we'll have a chance to actually go into the format of uh, the My Starcraft Arena. But first, let's get started here. We are 
on Infernal Pools and spawned in the 4 o'clock position as the Blue Zerg playing for Team Liquid is Red. And his opponent spawned as the Red Terran playing for Team Mouse Boards is Hero Marine. Current score 2-2. Two to two. Red was able to just close off the deal here in that last game by playing the same exact style. Um, maybe with a little bit different timing, but same that playing that same exact style as in the previous game where Hero Marine just overran him. So I don't think that anyone is gonna try to change things up now. Uh, unless Hero Marine is really ballsy, he might try to uh, go for some Reapers early on. I think that's that's definitely a good idea just to get a chance of maybe a few drone kills or um, put some pressure onto Liquid Red. Have that um, uh, have that morale advantage. And again, going for hatch for first, of course. That's uh, a bit more interesting with Hero Marine is thinking about here. It looks like on such a big map, he's just gonna go for CC first, and I think this is quite safe on this map. Uh, they are cross spawn, so uh, he has amazing amounts of time to uh, just deal with incoming pressure. Probably gonna send out um, an earlier scout than usual, and uh, just see, okay, what is Red going for here? This time Red is changing things up. Looks like he might want to apply some pressure. Going for Extractor first. That could definitely give him a chance to go for a little bit of some speedling aggression here. Yeah, pool's coming out. I think this might be some early speedlings. That could he could throw here Marine off guard. Um, just now go for, for going for his gas. Get a little bit of a later Marine, of course, due to that earlier command center, but I think he's probably gonna go for a bunker pretty soon down in this natural just to stay safe over there and if everything else fails he can just fly the command center into his main base uh, close this off with another barracks and of course uh, supply depot and he would be just fine. Now the way this sh should turn out is red getting almost a hundred gas, yeah started that gas a little bit earlier but I think he's he's just good and we'll go for speed right away come on yep there it is and of course going for a couple of queens just like last game I mean he usually had at least one queen uh, one queen per hatch plus an additional queen just to uh, spread some creep and stay safe and this is a little bit of a more conservative style where you where you save up Save up as much as you can and don't go for more queens than necessary. I prefer a style where you um, have usually have two or even more queens available because it's it's a lot safer. Maybe not necessary on this map, even though you could go for really crazy amounts of creep spread. So either would be fine. Oh, can he deny his SCV? Yes, I think he can. Really nice pick off. Now. Your Marine is in the dark unless he decides to spend his next energy on a scan, which I highly doubt. Okay, there's that close off, reactor is coming out. So we will see the swap, and of course, a couple of Hellions making their way ac out across the map to just deny creep spread, which is not coming out for now. Yeah, there's the first creep tumor. Uh, it's just getting started. An additional queen is coming out, but that's just the third queen. He's uh, looking to establish his third base just now, so. That's just coming out a little bit preemptively. Might get another creep tumor to just spread that creep a little bit faster. But that that's really needed here, especially on, on such a big map like Inferno Pools. And the first two Hellions are being produced by Hero Marine. He also has another command center on the way, so always going for that really early third command center style. And we'll keep that in base for now, just produce additional SCVs. Uh, go for a couple extra mules or uh, save up some scans to um, find out what Red is doing, if his Hellions can't get over there, but I think they will. Uh, we'll at least be able to scout at the third base, see the timing on that, see that it's maybe a little bit late, but more of a defensive style out of Red once again. And there's that oh, layer tech should be coming out pretty soon, going for a little bit earlier Baneling Nest. So again, playing it safe, but ooh, he just snuck by a couple of SCVs. 
Um, they might get a kill on these Hellions, but I don't think he really wants to show them right now. Four, two more Hellions are on the way. Two additional are being built, and we see that double eBay coming out again out of Hero Marine. I mean, it's worked so far. Why not go for it again? Oh, jeez. What's happening now? Oh, our admin is lagging the game. He'll probably leave pretty soon here. Okay, yeah, I think he's probably going to leave. Um, this gives me a little bit of time to work on, um, or tell you guys the format and rules of the My Starcraft Arena. It's pretty simple, really, but it's a pretty cool style that hasn't been pulled off by too many tournaments so far. It's a King of the Hill format, wherein um, the more rounds you win, the more money you get. So, uh, let me show you guys how this works. Uh, give me a sec here. Okay. So we start out with our first player. Um, he goes in, plays, uh, in this case, uh, I think, wait, uh, Hero Marine was the player that was already in there. Uh, Red is the challenger. Um, we'll have to check later on. Oh. And then um, if he wins this game, he gets 100 euros. Then comes the next player and um, he'll get 200 euros. Um, if he takes out the next one, he'll get 300 euros. And the last one, he'll get 600 euros. So theoretically, if you win all uh, all four matches, you would get a thousand euros. All right, let's get back into the game here. Ebays are coming out of Hero Marine, as as I said, and that stim pack research is finally being established. Hero Marine has a few Hellions out on the map, but he's not expecting the Spainling bust. It's a slow bust, though. Ooh, he doesn't even need to spend them over there. And he can't even connect with us with those bunkers. This is an amazing move here by Liquid Red. Looks like he might get a kill here, but some good Hellion control coming out of Hero Marine. But he's just going for the juggler. He's trying to go for those SCVs. Are there more links coming out? No, doesn't look like there are. Oh, really, really good control here by Hero Marine. He's not going to lose all that much. That was a really nice move. 11 workers killed. Um, but I don't think this was worth it for, for Red, to be honest lost a whole lot more. Uh, he doesn't have a really good economy to back it off. And what's his follow-up really? I mean, he has that third on the way, but um, only a few drones mining so far. And he's going for Roach Tag. I mean, those Roaches are pretty much just a defensive move at this point. Um, having the Roaches available, uh, going for Layer Tag. It's a little bit too much at the same time. And if Hero Marine realizes this um, and just goes for a counter-aggression, I think he could do some decent damage, at least go for this third and um, take out all the drones here. And if Liquid Red is um, playing the same style, oh, yeah, there comes the scan. And to be honest, I mean, what can he go for right now? Uh, roaches are being built, they might not get here in time. Uh, if Liquid Red pulls these drones right now, I think he could be fine, but looks like Hero Marine is taking a little bit too long, and by the time he gets there, Liquid Red will be prepared, will have a couple of Roaches available to deal with the Hellions, so I think, uh, yeah, I think he's in a pretty good spot to defend this, after all. Um, but doesn't have that real huge macro advantage to go for the same style he played last game. But at the same time, Hero Marine did lose a little bit. He didn't lose his third command center, and this time he's pulling it out quite a bit earlier. So um, this is pretty much just a reaction, a little bit of a more gambly style out of Hero Marine just to um, catch up with Red since he did lose a few workers in that uh, in that Ling Baneling run by. But I gotta give it to Hero Marine, that was some amazing control with the Hellions and keeping all of or pretty much all of his SCVs alive with uh, such a massive Ling Baneling run by he should have lost a whole lot more. Okay, 12 more roaches are being produced but he's not uh, probably not going for more roach production after this. I mean, he is going for road, road speed, uh, road speed upgrades, but not going for ranged upgrades, uh, which I think makes a lot of sense. I mean, ZVT uh, going for ranged upgrades, going for mass amounts of roaches uh, in the mid to late game doesn't really work out all that well, most of the time. Unless you did really good early game damage, um, it's just too hard to pull off. Uh, but he's just massing roaches for now. That's already a decent count, 20 roaches will work out quite well versus this force. I mean, that's not enough Marines, and it's probably just a reaction to what uh, Hero Marine has been playing so far. Really Hellbat, Hellion-focused style, with a late late switch into Bio. That switch is just starting to hit, though. Um, 
Yeah, quite a few barracks are just churning out marines. We'll probably switch over to marauders uh, soon, but he only has a single barracks with a tech lab. So that's not going to be crazy amounts of marauder production for now. It will happen eventually though. And red just clearing off a few of these hellions. The marine should be quite content by just keeping Red at bay. Once these roaches make their way into the third base, he might be in trouble, but as long as he just keeps fighting them on open ground and keeps fighting them with marines. But this is a really huge roach ball, and they already have plus one. Not quite on the way, or um, plus two is halfway done for here, marine, so he does have that plus one, plus one available as well. And going for the plus one armor upgrade for vehicles. Roach speed is available now. Quite a few Bane links, but they're being focused out and don't get any real connections. There might be a few hits, but some really amazing splits out of Hero Marine. Roaches are getting there. Might be able to split up the forces. Yes, they can, but it's only a few Roaches remaining. This is what I'm talking about here. Roach is not really all that effective versus Marines, and he's still churning out eight at a time. This third is in definite trouble, though. Oh, and a lot of SCVs might go down here. A third will get, re uh, will get rescued. Nice lift off here by Hero Marine. We'll save that up. We'll have to see if Liquid Red can capitalize on this. He took out the third. We'll deny mining for a little bit longer. But um, we see a little bit of a switch coming out for Hero Marine. He's going for more Widow Mine production. It's just gonna be a nice defensive line versus the Roaches, versus the Lynx. Because Lynx and Roaches can work out quite well on open ground. Um, if they're, if they're in huge numbers. But the Lynx will just get cleaned off by these Widow Mines, and the Roaches by themselves can't fight against the, the Marines. They're just way too fast, they'll just split up, um, get a nice concave, and kill those Roaches off before they ever do anything real, real, real damage. So Banelings are the method of choice now for Liquid Red. That could work out, but he needs some really good splits, and yeah, Overseer's already coming out. Good decision making out of Liquid Red. If he wants to um, focus down those Widow Mines if he can. Maybe get in with the Roaches first and then just sacrifice those to get some good Baneling connections. The last two melee attacks are coming out and he's finally going for that fifth base. Fourth base, well on its way. It's a gold base, so he's gonna get quite a few minerals. And income wise, he's in a good spot. Um, they're pretty much even, but he gets a lot more gas. So that gas is being directly invested into a Pretty huge Muda ball. But so far, I mean, Hero Marine has a decently sized army to counter Mutas. He still has a few Widow Mines available. Quite a few Marines. 50, to be honest. So that, that's a pretty huge ball. And so far, Hero Marine has been doing a good job to splitting his Marines, uh, trying to get the best, or deny the best Widow, uh, the best Bailing connections. Ooh, that's a nice Widow Mine hit here once again. Oh, uh, he hasn't seen those Mutas, so. And I'm just cleaning up house. Getting rid of some of these marines. And should finish off a couple of medevacs. There comes the boost. He might get one over here. And he might get a few marines that are still on the loose over there. Oh, come on. There's that next boost coming out. Ooh. Good placement so far. Oh, the widow mines! Uh, he sacrificed quite a few mar uh, quite a few banelings to get rid of the widow mines. But I think that was almost all of them. Being produced four at a time, so I think Hero Marine can salvage the situation if he just gets more Widow Mines out here. But wow, that's a huge amount of Banelings coming out of Liquid Red. 26 being morphed in, and the Hive is coming out as well. Plus one flyer attacks on the way, and he's making that move. Can he get the connections he needs? Not a, not a lot of Banelings in here, but he has quite a few Mutas with the plus one upgrade. Can he make this? Can he pull this off? There are the Banelings. You need to move around these roaches, and they can. Lost most of, most of the mutas, but he still has a decently sized ground army. We'll lose the remainder of the mutas, but most of the medivacs are gone. And I think that's the most important part here. Hero Marine can't salvage the situation anymore. He really needs to save up all units, every unit he can. There's no way for him to get out uh, tanks or anything like that. Siege tanks would could help him here, but oh man, that's that third mineral line going down. He's trying to clean up this bunker. Might not just finish him off uh, right now, but he never really took any, any eco damage. So Liquid Red can just th churn out units and throw him, at, throw him at Hero Marine. And he will retreat for now. 
But again, he didn't lose all that much. Killed off 25 workers and only 13 killed by Hero Marine. So, uh, resources lost. A little bit in favor of Hero Marine, but he's been sitting on three bases for quite some time now. Even this uh, third already has uh, doesn't have too many resources available anymore. Um, he did have a fourth base built early on. So he used a lot of mules on that on all of his bases, which means they're just gonna dissipate that much faster. Okay, adrenal glands upgrade coming out, as well as plus three, yeah, plus three armor. And more and more links just churning out. I think ooh, this might be a nice timing to just get rid of that fourth and really quickly here. Good run by, gets a few SCVs for free. Nice little pickoff uh, for Liquid Red. And he sees the perfect timing. Okay, sees command center just now starting here, and well, yeah. There's the reaction to those muters. Thors, lots of missile turrets. And we'll have to see if he spots this one. Also this cavern, really nice move. The muters will clean off most of the production in the main though. And this is really costly for Hero Marine. Losing those reactors? Oh geez, he's trying to react to this but losing one medevac? Uh, okay, the other one unloads. And will fend off these muters. Oh, that's not a good move here by Liquid Red. Shouldn't have lost those muters. Still be used to clean off a few SCVs. Oh, there's a run by. Can he take out this third? That would be huge. And the Banelings are rolling into the fourth base. Is he gonna focus it down? Yes, he will. Ah, uh, might have just used uh, links for this. But I think he's in such a good spot, he can actually pull this off and still be fine. As long as his injects are on spot. And, well, they're not really on spot, but he has so many he has so many hatcheries available that it should be enough larvae to, to deal with this little bit of an army that Hero Marine still has. Only 100 army supply versus 110. There are so many beamings coming out, quite a few mutas coming out, and, yeah, those adrenal gland upgrades will help out quite a bit here as well. But once Hero Marine actually gets in a spot where he can preemptively spread his units and stand on top of these bases and just put down a few widow mines. Uh, it's gonna be harder for Red to deal with this. So it looks like he's trying to wait. Oh, but he's just moving everything on top of everything here. Still has a few widow mines, a few banelings available, but that's it. Liquid Red takes this 3 to 2 and moves on and will face off against uh, Majestic now. So that's a hundred euros going to Liquid Red, and if he can win in this next best of five versus um, Mouse Majestic, he will win another two hundred euros. Yep, that's it. So the thing is, if you start out from the very bottom, if you're the challenger in the King of the Hill, you can potentially get a thousand euros. Um, on the other side, if you're one of the players that are just sitting there waiting for their opponent, if you win your match, you get to play less games, but you just get 200 euros from the start, 300 euros from the start, or 400 euros from the start if you're the last player, basically um, the last um, the last king from the previous round of the MyStarcraft Arena, uh, which this, this time is Nurture.